Hello, welcome to another edition at LRC's Kitchen. Today, uh, what I'm going to present is uh, a very familiar, uh, typical Tamilian dish called the kute. Uh, it's generally made with vegetables like the goads, uh, snake goad, the ash goad, ridge goad. It's also made with some of the legumes, but today I've chosen ash goat. The other requirements would be udad dal, grated coconut, pepper, red chilies, curry leaves, pre-boiled peanuts. What I'm going to do now is, I've taken about one odd teaspoon or slightly more than that of udadda. About half a spoon to three fourths spoon of pepper. Add a liberal helping of curry leaves. It adds a lot of fragrance to the dish. Also understand it's good health-wise. I'm adding about four red chilies. And about a tablespoon or one and a half tablespoons of grated coconut. One tablespoon to one and a half tablespoons of grated coconut. To this, add some hing. Roast the mixture till the coconut turns golden brown and the red chilies don't turn black. The idea is to ensure that the raw taste goes and there's a nice aroma of the red chili, the pepper, the udak and the coconut emanating from the roasted content. Roll the stove and transfer this into a small mixer. What I've done is after I've roasted all of them, I've separated the red chilies and put it first into the mixie. From the mixture, I, I've taken away the red chilies first, grinded it into a fine powder and I'm putting the rest of the mixture after that. This would ensure that uh, the end product paste that you get will be smooth and will not have too many flakes of the red chilies. Add some water. Actually, in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is on the stove. Put about a teaspoon and more of oil. Just about one and a half teaspoons of oil for the third cup. The oil is now heated. I'm adding a few fenugreek seeds. Jira. <coughs> Mustard. I'm not using any of the dals. The reason being, I've used udad dal in the mixture. And both chana dal and tuvar dal, I've got pre-boiled, which I'm going to use at a later point in time. A few fresh curry leaves. Turmeric powder. And now I've taken about 
100 grams of pumpkin or ash gold as it's called salt to taste Get this mixture to a boil. Let the pumpkin cook in water. Whilst that's getting cooked, I'll get this mixture complete. I've made a smooth paste. You can see the consistency. It's smooth. And once the pumpkin gets boiled, this will go into the pumpkin. It takes roughly about uh, five to seven minutes for the 100 grams of pumpkin to boil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add again a small lime size of squeezed tamarind juice. You'll see it's quite concentrated. I now add the mixture, ensure this is the consistency of the mixture of pepper, udad dal, curry leaves, red chilies and asafoetida or hing. Now as this comes to a boil, I also have pre-boiled mixture again of one and a half tablespoons each of chana dal and tuvar dal which i have boiled for about three to four whistles i'm not mashing it completely there's a slight garlic feel left to it let it remain so you get these uh, vadi alu or vadam as it's called in the market it's again an udat based fryam that I add to this. These are all additional replenishments to the dish. They are not a must. I am then adding boiled groundnuts and now I am adding the dal. I will now get the entire thing to cook together and boil for a while. Allow this mixture to boil for about 5 to 8 minutes. The kutu made with the pumpkin or ash god is ready. I have uh, added with it some hot chapatis. If you are having it with rice, you can have papad, you can have uh, chili, uh, the typical uh, fried chilies that are made in South India, the Mor Malha or the Majigamirpaka as it's called. This goes both well with rice and with roti. I sign off thanking Ritika for getting ready or everything including the ingredients in the required quantities. Thanks Abhinav who's going to edit the show. Thanks Datu for uh, playing mother hen, for ensuring that it's well photographed, lighted every, and uh, ensuring that everything is on time and space. Thank you all. Do send your feedbacks. Bye-bye.